coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The National Conservation Authority, the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority, St. Lucia National Trust, the Landings and Sandals Grand are all in agreement that the practice of illegal garbage disposal is detrimental to St. Lucia's tourism product, the environment and the health of the country. General Manager of the National Conservation Authority, Jacinta Lee, expressed her displeasure with the practice as not too long ago the authority made a plea to residents about the disposal of waste on the island's beaches. Derelict containers, bulky waste, green waste, construction and demolition material all form part of the refuse being dumped at a private lot near the Pigeon Island Causeway. While the Solid Waste Management Authority does not have jurisdiction over private property, the organization is appealing to those practicing the illegal act to dispose of their waste at the official site, the Deglo Sanitary Landfill. The stakeholders plan to hold a cleanup for the area on February 29, 2020. The National Principals Association officially hosted the 36th Annual Education Conference. The conference being held under the theme Educational Leadership Achieving Success Through Self-Reflection, Relationship Building and Conducive Learning Environments affords principals an opportunity to hone their professional development and management skills. Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, Honorable Dr. Gail Rigabat, during her address at the conference, reaffirmed her commitment to improving the education system in St. Lucia. The National Principals Conference took place at Sandals Halcyon on Thursday, February 6, 2020. 150 St. Lucians seeking higher education have been briefed on the opportunities available in the Republic of China, Taiwan. Each year, the Taiwanese government hands out dozens of scholarships to St. Lucians to undertake studies in various fields. The charge d'affaire for the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, Councillor Bill Wang, indicated that St. Lucians have been excelling in Taiwan, not just in academics, but in areas such as creative industries and culinary arts. He encouraged the applicants to take full advantage of all the opportunities afforded to them. The application period for the 2020 scholarship programs opened from the 13th of January to the 15th of March 2020. The scholarship programs provide opportunities for young talented St. Lucians to study in Taiwan for bachelor, master or PhD degrees. The awardees list will be posted on the Embassy's website on the 30th of June 2020. All application documents should be delivered to the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, Raidway Beach Avenue, Rodney Bay, Grosley, by the deadline the 15th of March 2020. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.